Hello guys, talking about the socio-economic challenges in the country of Nigeria, Ned Woko, Regina Dane's husband, had this to say about it. Most countries in the world do not have the privilege of using local currency and foreign currency at the same time. No economy in this world would do well if we have this dual currency. The first thing we must do is to arrest the bad economy situation. As drastic as it might sound, it is to abolish the use of dollars in Nigeria. Once this is done, we will begin to see the Naira appreciating against the dollars. When you hold the use of dollars in Nigeria, it means that the expatriate workers in Nigeria who are being paid in dollars will be paid in Naira. What do you think guys? We have no regards for our Naira. The president needs the courage and political will to get that done. Use of dollars is part of our new colonial bondage. The senator, who is a member of more than 16 important Senate committees, said that we should be able to promote our own local currency. Wow, this is beautiful to hear, guys. He also pointed out that the use of dollars in, Ni in Nigeria comes with a lot of fraudulent practices such as round tripping as well as illegal buying and selling of the use of dollars which is one of the biggest businesses in the country he said to control our economy we must stop the use of dollars we must encourage local production and manufacturing let me hear your point of view in the comment section guys and please don't subscribe don't forget to subscribe while watching okay he also expressed the need of nigerians to respect the naira he also said it is an abomination to use a currency reserve domicile in a foreign nation in the name of balance of payment otherwise known as foreign reserve this money is deposited in banks in america or either foreign countries which those foreign countries are using to run their economies that is why america and the uk have large economies today because of these deposits the senator who is also the vice chairman senate committee on environment said it is time we look inward and see what we have to do as a people he said again i know that the president of nigeria might be apprehensive about breaking ties with america but it is not about america this is about his people it is about nigeria and nigerians it is about leaving a legacy that during his time this was what he did to serve and promote the naira he said if he had the opportunity of becoming the president of nigeria the first thing he would do is to get american is to get african countries to come together and have a common currency like euro in europe and we have everything we need in um, in africa wow this sounds good right let me hear your point of view in the comment section he said we don't need to import anything we have all the natural and human resources we should fund our african businessmen to manufacture and produce you imagine if we bring back our foreign reserve domicile in America to Nigerian banks, then say we use the money to empower 5 million youth em in, uh, entrepreneurs because our youths are very creative and innovative. Emphasizing the need to take advantage of the creativity of Nigerian youth, he said, today, virtually all our youths are either IT complaints or engage in one small medium scale businesses or the other. Our youth are very good, so give that money to them by the way of grants or loan, or that is more than four percent. You tell me why the government should put a ceiling on lending rates every year while the banks are making huge profit to the detriment of the consumers. They are not thinking about the people. If you think about the people, the first thing the government should do is to call the banks and employ them not to lend beyond 3 to 4% so that the people can borrow. If you can if you don't have a credit economy how can you improve on your economy no borrowing to buying cars no borrowing to buy houses no borrowing to go on holidays how can they live so people will end up stealing lying and cheating to raise money so there are many problems that need to be addressed in this nation our senate president regina dane husband voice why advocating a strategic approach to a very expensive system of government the delta state senator noted that nigeria as a country needs to go back to parliamentary system of government and 
see how this expensive presidential system of government in which case the political party with the highest number of members in the parliament will choose the prime minister and the prime minister will be there in the parliament with other members who are from among them the current presidential system in nigeria is too costly and not suitable for us that is where the corruption starts from the delegate system where so much money is spent bribing people to support you and from the local to the state and the national it is too cumbersome and expensive and president are too isolated from the people and the lawmakers but if you have a prime minister like you have in the uk there will be a prime minister's question every week the prime minister will always be there in the parliament to find solution not like what is happening now wow let's hear what you have to say guys concerning this is this making sense let's hear your point of view in the comment section and if you have watched up to this point kados for that cheers and thank you so much don't forget to go without subscribing okay thank you for watching